G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I was super lucky for my birthday earlier this year. My birthday is in April, around the same time Salute is. So, uh, you know, I was fortunate a couple of years ago to go to the UK to visit my family there and go to Salute uh, and have my birthday there. But my wife for my birthday this year managed to get hold of some Stargate Jafar for me. Now, many, 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 many years ago, Eureka Miniatures here in Australia did a range of, um, you know, Stargate miniatures, which were quickly, you know, canned by MGM. They got hit with a cease and desist, you know, stop producing and selling these. You know, it's an infringement of our copyright, blah, blah, blah. They haven't been available for ages. You can find them every now and then on groups on Facebook and whatnot. They do pop up from time to time on eBay. And I've always thought, you know, I'd love to get some of those. And I've never done it. And I've always regretted it. Anyway, this year for my birthday, no, I was turned 42 this year, my wife was chatting to one of my friends and said, what would Viv love for his birthday? And he'd mentioned, you know, he'd love some Stargate figures. And anyway, they managed to find some on eBay, believe it or not. And so I've spent the last couple of weeks, you know, working on a small group of them. I actually got a fairly large lot of them, which was amazing. But I've been working my way through them. I kept, I started keeping a painting log on the uh, Rubbish In, Rubbish Out page on Facebook. Uh, which I moved to the Knights of Dice website. So on the Knights of Dice website, I'm going to start to record more of my painting logs. It just makes more sense to me to have them there on my own website where I can edit them. I can put a whole bunch more text, a whole bunch more description than, you know, working within the confines of what, you know, Facebook provides, certainly in terms of that sort of perspective. Anyway, so I started painting them a couple of weeks ago and bit by bit, I've been going through them. You know, um, it's been a great fun to work on. Very simple figures, like most of the stuff from Eureka that I've painted, they've been super, super enjoyable to paint. Very, very easy, especially this group of armored Jafar. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty much just wearing metal with a little bit of skin. So I primed them black. I dry brushed them with some metallic color. I can't quite remember what it is. There'll either be a slide here or you can go off to the Knights of Dice website and have a look at my painting log. The link will be in the description below. I dry brushed a little bit of metal on them, gave that a bit of a non oil wash just to knock it back down. I did a little bit of highlighting again with that same metallic color. After watching an episode the other night, I, I noticed that in one of the episodes, the Jafar, that big collar that they wear in some of the episodes is like a bronze sort of color. Now I'm assuming that's sort of like the, uh, uh, the, system lord or the goa olds like personal bodyguard that have that bronze sort of colored uh you know gorget i guess it kind of is uh and so i decided look i'll come back and i'll paint some brass on that and uh gave that a null oil wash came back you know highlighted it up a little bit picked out the skin gave that a bit of a, a wash with some agrax earth shade uh you know red for the lenses of their helmets i've still got to highlight that did a quick basing job with some of that basing goop that I mixed up uh, when I was working on my Lord of the Rings Rohan army the other night. That's basically just a little bit of uh, pre-mixed wall filler, a little bit of water, a little bit of PVA and some dirt from my yard, which I baked in the oven uh, for, you know, maybe 20 minutes or so, at about 180 degrees Celsius, just to kill off any bacteria, really dried out, mixed all of that up into this goop material, then brushed it on in a fairly thick layer. It did dry once it dried. It dried really, really thin, and it's not as texturous, if that's even a word, uh, as I'd like it to be. So I think I might bring a little bit more basing material back from the studio, a couple of different grades of sand and some aquarium stones and stuff, and chuck that in it. Uh, but it's come, they've come up really nice. They were great fun to work on. I've got lots more to do. Uh, and, you know, I've got loads of modern figures that I can use for the SG teams. And I might crack out good old uh, 7TV from uh, Crooked Dice to, uh, you know, knock together a couple of profiles and uh, play a few games of, you know, Stargate SG-1. It's probably my favorite show. I probably watched every episode or at least played every episode in the background. It's one of my go-to put on in the background shows at least 30 times every episode, season one to 10. Although from about season eight onwards, end of season seven, Season 8, certainly seasons 9 and 10 get a little bit, yeah, I'm not really massively keen on the Ori and anyway, so painting these Jafar from Eureka, great fun. I've got uh, a few more to do across a couple of different sorts of factions. The ones that I've just done now are the Serpent Guard and, uh, and then there's some, uh, uh, you know, the Beaky guys, what are they called? You know, I think they're, you know, 
uh, follow Horace or, you know, one of the other guys. I can't... 30 episodes and I can't remember. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, yeah, there's a couple of different... There's a couple of different factions there. You know how they all wear different helmets and stuff. Anyway, great fun to work on. I'm looking forward to doing some more. Um, but, uh, yeah. Might have a little bit of a break or, you know... All my painting pegs at the moment are consumed now. I've got 62 of them and I've got 60 Rohan figures on painting pegs. So I've got two pegs left, you know, the little painting stands that I paint on. Um, so maybe I'll just have a break until Saturday and work on what I'm going to do about this Rohan army for my 24 hour challenge. But we'll talk about that later on. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you like the Stargate figures. Great fun to work on. I'll catch you next time. See ya.